What's going on legends? Welcome to the channel. I'm Field Day and today I am super excited. So what we're doing, I've just been dropped off on this tropical island in Indonesia. I have no water, no food. I've got a hand line and a leatherman. I'll show you. So pretty much this is all I've got today. Hand line with a little jig on it. No idea how that's gonna go. Leatherman, t-shirt, and my phone just in case stuff gets really hectic. Uh, what's the game plan? I'm just gonna walk as far as I can that way. And on the way, I'm just gonna pick up rubbish. There's so much rubbish that's been washed up on this island. So I'm gonna try to pick up rubbish, anything that can help me out today. That big chunk of rope in there, that's massive. Rope here, look at this stuff. Oh, that's like nylon. <clears throat> Get out. That could come in handy, maybe. It's like um, the rope of a spear gun, I think, off a reel of a spear gun. That could be good. It's not much. It'll do. This island has the most remote feeling to it. It's actually so sick. This is what I love doing the most, is this kind of thing. Getting lost. No cars, no traffic, no people. This is sick. What? Check that out. I'm going to keep that little souvenir. Love it. No. Full on crazy crab party. What is going on here? This guy's like stuck on his back and they're trying to help him. Oh no, now they're all scared. <laughs> Well, at least if there's no food, I know I can eat crazy crabs later on. Nah, just joking. No way, is that what I think it is? <laughs> oh my god! Wilson! I found bloody Wilson! Where have you been, mate? <laughs> oh, I'm not lonely anymore. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Look mate, thanks a heaps for the company, but I just can't carry you around anymore, alright? I'm gonna sit you here, you can watch the surf. Alright brother. Yeah, have a good day Wilson. Coconut trees. Alright, I'm making my way into the bush. It looks like it's super dense, but I'm just gonna get in there because I'm so thirsty now, I've been here for like been walking that coast for three hours and to tell you the truth there's not a lot of rubbish on that beach which is a good thing but for me in this situation it's not a lot i picked up an empty drink bottle i'm going to use that later hopefully i can fill it up with coconut juice with coconut water all right we're halfway through this mangrove sort of stuff and it is hectic because ah there are so many mosquitoes in here it's so muggy in here as well but I'm just coming to the end of this mangrovey shit and on that side should be some open ground. All right, look at those coconuts. Everywhere. The only problem is I suck at climbing coconut trees and they're pretty high. So this is the next challenge to get ourselves some coconuts down. Whoa. <gasps> Is gonna be hell fun. This is so hectic. These mozzies are relentless, dude. Look at this. There's so many mosquitoes. I've kind of found a little track. I don't know if it's an animal track or there are actually people that live here, but and these coconut trees are still so high. I need to fucking find like a low-lying coconut tree. That'll be dream right now. They're all that high, and that's really high. I ain't climbing that tree. Look how slippery it is. No way. It's so high. <laughs> ah, all right, I gotta get out of here. These mozzies are insane. I oh, have my back. I don't know if you can see my back. It is covered in bites, my arms. Oh, I gotta get the... I gotta get out of here, it's just hectic. 
can't find any low coconut trees. Oh, I'm so thirsty as well, but I can't handle these mozzies. These mozzies are so freaking bad. Oh, get me out of here, dude. Far out, man, that's hectic. I've come back out to the coast. It's super windy now, and there's no mozzies here, thank God. So I'm just gonna keep punching that way. And see what we can see. I need a drink so bad. My mouth is like a bag of flour right now. Oh no, that's busted. If I can find a working lighter, that would be my dream. Look at this, there's lighters everywhere. If I can just find one that works. Uh, by the way guys, usually I'd be picking up this rubbish, taking as much home as I can, but right now, coconuts, like that one. This one is really old. <laughs> oh, well, I wasn't actually buddy recording, was I? Anyway, what I was saying is, I've also got this little packet of hooks and two of these sinkers, because you're not going to get fish without hooks. So I've taken the top off this coconut and it's going to be about that big. It's going to be tiny. So... Yes! What a mission that was. A coconut like this should have like that really big, the thick meat inside, so let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That's water. I am so thirsty. Oh my god. My mouth no longer tastes like a bag of flour. That's insane. Wow. That is so rewarding. Alright, let's crack it open and see if we can get this meat out. Oh my god, it's everything I've ever asked for. So good. Alright, now that I've had like a cup full of water, I need to go fishing, but there is no way I'm throwing a hand line off there. That is hectic. No way in the world. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up to those palm trees there, if I can't get any more water out of a coconut, I'm going to head back that way because the swell was nowhere near as big that way that it is here because he is massive. Anyway, I'm pretty bloody stoked because I got coconut meat and about a cup full of water, so that will keep me going until I get a fish, I reckon. I made a decision to head back into the um, mozzie forest because there's not many palm, no, there's not many coconuts washed up on the beach. All right, this is such a mission. I can't climb coconut trees to shit. They're just up there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to launch this thing up there. Hopefully they fall down, but they're pretty green, which means possibly they're going to be stuck. Whoosh! Oh no, that was the worst throw. What was that? All right, here we go. Round two. Ooh. Oh, that was the direct hit. 
Here we go again. Boy, that was a direct hit. All right, this isn't gonna work. I'm going back to the coast. Yeah. Look at this. That is gonna be my coconut grabber. Because I am struggling right now. I said I was gonna turn around like an hour ago and I just keep walking up this island because I don't even know why. It's sick. All right, I'm gonna find a low coconut lime tree. Once I do that, I'm gonna get this up there and just stab at it until I can get a coconut down. Oh yeah. May have found the tree. Look at this thing. It's low. My stick will definitely reach that. All right. <laughs> this is sick. Let's try. Oh. 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 Yes. That. That's so good. That coconut is full of water. Ah. Woo. All right, I'm gonna try to get some more. Oh, oh there's another one. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy, that's three coconuts. There you are, little bastard. Yes, so many coconuts now. Whoosh! Woo! That feels good. Four coconuts. That's plenty. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna fill up that bottle that I picked up off the beach a couple of hours ago. Whew, tell you what, it's no easy mission opening coconuts, but they're there, they're done. So we're gonna need a funnel. That work. That is perfect. Oh That's sick. Full bottle of coconut water. That's gonna get me through for sure, and I still have nearly a whole coconut here to drink. This stuff, that's super dry. And right now, around here, everything's wet. So I'm gonna take, oh yeah, see that's wet as hell. But this is dry. I'm just gonna take a bit of this, just in case I need to start a fire, because that should go up really good. All right guys, after a really, really, really long walk, I'm back on the side where there is absolutely no swell. Oh, there's a little bit that kind of laps up on the rocks, but it's nowhere near as bad as that other side. So, I'm gonna put that hand line into action First, we're gonna whack out that little jig and just see if we can get anything, anything to eat. If not, I don't know, we'll... Oh, yeah. This is actually still really sketchy. A big wave just came and like broke over this rock, so I've gotta be pretty careful. But it looks fishy. Got the handline, got the jig. 
15 gram. Why? All right, about 15 casts in, and it's got a snag. I knew this would happen. Ah. My only jig I've got. Alright. I don't know what to do. Right, that jig didn't last long. I think I had like 12 or 15 casts and a literally ting just got stuck on the rocks and these rocks are razor sharp. So now what I'm gonna do, I have a hand line, I've got sinkers, I've got hooks, and I made yesterday like I made this little imitation bait fish thing with a Kit Kat wrapper. <laughs> this is our plan B. These are like little baby hooks. And that is actually a Kit Kat wrapper. So, Kit Kat wrapper, and I tied it on with the thread of my shirt yesterday. That's like an old jetty. It's like a jetty or something. Oh my God, imagine if there's little, some, some lady with a wrong cooking super spicy bee green. Woo! That'll be joy. Look at it. Let's get there. Woo. Made it to the jetty. I can't believe there's actually a jetty here. Woo. Oh no. Where's the we're wrong? Where's the lady cooking the megarine? <laughs> All right, no megarine for me. But there is a jetty. Look at this. The Kit Kat wrapper actually worked. Look at that. Oh. Look at that, dude. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be a bigger fish out there than that thing. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of it. That's all I'm catching. I'm going to starve to death. <laughs> Oi! Oi! Just look at how beautiful that is. I can't eat that. So cute. Oh, this is hard work. Well, I didn't think it was going to be so hard to catch a fish. Getting heaps of fish like this big. If this was a real survival situation, I'd be keeping them fish, but I'm not dying, so I'll let them go. I'm going to go try to catch something bigger, but super hard. Getting the quite the suntan going on here. Look at that. Anyway, keep pushing on. It's getting pretty late in the day now, so I would love to get something to eat. A little bit bigger than those fish we were getting. It's just started bucketing down with rain, so I'm taking refuge under this little rock cliff thing. And um, I'm gonna wait for this rain to pass. So, so stoked that I picked up that wood before. I picked up that little bit of kindling, that dry fluffy stuff, and a couple of sticks, and some, a dry coconut, and the coconut husk is super dry, so I should be able to get a fire going, even though it's raining, which I'm pretty stoked I did that. So now I'm just gonna sit here, wait for the rain to pass. Yeah, boy, the rains have stopped. So I'm just gonna start walking around in these little rock pools, and just try to find anything to eat. That is the plan. That is what we want. That's perfect. That's called a turban shell or otherwise known as cat's eye because that 
that thing there they use for jewelry and you can actually eat these these actually don't taste too bad there's another one so these things yes that's food that is lunch right there I'll show you what you this is actually they make jewelry out of this part here so we'll show you that later that's perfect yes there's another one oh we're on a roll now it's another one that's enough that's four these little suckers these are called periwinkle shells or periwinkles they actually don't taste too bad look at that that's definitely a little meal there that's four turban shells now and a couple of periwinkles so that's going to be entree that's going to be our main course I'm pretty happy with what I've got a couple of turban shells or cat's eye a couple of periwinkles that's going to be la that's going to be like a late lunch so I'm just going to set up here this looks pretty delicious pretty much what we got today oh that's seen better days that's so sandy hand line busted that today dumbass anyway oh there's the rope we found that's all the coconut water i've got left oh jesus there's my phone i hope that's still going so here's the wood that we've got oh yeah there's my souvenir so we're gonna get a fire going with what we've got here that's super dry this coconuts oh yeah it's pretty dry should be able to get a fire going i think so we're just gonna try to start a fire by friction so get this stick which is nice and dry here and you get that as smooth and as round as possible all right that works good we've got our really fine stuff thicker stuff which is super dry Put that on the bottom. We've got a bit of wood with a hole and a little hole in the back. Whack it in there. Take the charcoal off this coconut. Get it in there. All right. Now, you just start spinning. And after a while, it's gonna get super hot due to that friction. And hopefully we get a flame. This could take a while. Ah, my hands, all right. Fuck, it's so close. Oh, stay there. All right, I'm not gonna lie. That was by, heart, by far the hardest fire I've ever had to start and it's still struggling. Ooh. Oh 
my god, we got there in the end. All right, just gotta wait for these coals to get down, whack on our snails, and um, hopefully we can get some lunch in our belly because I'm starving. Oh, and my eyes are so sore. Wow. Woo, we got a fire. Let's grab your snail. Sit him on there like that. Oh yeah, look at that. So, I mean, snails are cooking away. That's what you want to see, them like boiling like that. That's perfect. So they're slowly cooking. I'm happy, we've done it. Woo! Lunch is served. For entree, we have periwinkle. I'm gonna rip them out like this. And you just eat that part. Mmm, -hmm. that's good. So that's what the periwinkle looks like after it's been taken out of the shell. And then you just gotta take off this hard bit. And now for the main course. These big boys. All right, so that's the shell that I was telling you about before. If you spend a lot of time down the beach, you'd see these around. They make jewelry out of them. Cat's eye. But this is the part you eat, ready? Oh no, I left half in there, but this is the part we want. So, just cut this bit off, because that's super chewy. So we'll get rid of that. Take out the guts part. And that's what you're left with. A super white, chewy, delicious piece of meat. I'm not gonna, mm. I'll tell you what, that is bloody good. I actually do like that. All right, here comes another one. Look at that. That's lunch. That's bloody beautiful. So good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I had an absolute sick day. That was super fun. My feet are sore. I got blisters all over my feet. But that was such a good day, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Phew, legends. Look at that, mate. Bush tucker at its finest. Sandy. I actually do like these. So good.